What's up guys, got something really cool to show you today. This is the Hatfield single shot 12 gauge break action shotgun. You know that little cheap $100 one that you can buy from Walmart. But today we're not gonna be shooting regular 12 gauge shells out of it. I have stuffed inside of there, which you can see is a 209 muzzle loading adapter by gunadapters.com for the 12 gauge shotgun. They sent this one out to show you guys and uh, they are sponsoring this video. But uh, we're gonna give you a really good look at uh, this thing and show you how easy it is to use. Now, if you've ever wanted to, you know, toyed with the idea of getting into black powder reloading or muzzle loading, uh, this is a good way to get started without spending a bunch of money or without buying a dedicated firearm. I've often thought about, you know, picking up a muzzle loader, but I just couldn't justify purchasing an entire firearm for something I may or may not like. But uh, this is a very affordable little item which converts your 12 gauge break action to a muzzle loading shotgun and uh, to shoot black powder out of. We're going to show you how this works here in just a second, but you can see. I'm going to use this, uh, what you can also purchase on gunadapters.com is this collapsible ramrod here. You can see it just unfolds. Go ahead and take this out of here. Just a second. You can see if you keep this thing oiled, uh, it doesn't take much to push it out of there. Like so. This is really all it is. And you can see it's got a little shell. It looks like an extractor cutout, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, this is to, when you install this into your 12 gauge or your shotgun, uh, you install this with that cutout slot towards the extractor or ejector so that whenever you break the shotgun open, it clears the ejector and the ejector or extractor does not uh, remove the, the adapter here. Now this kind of works just like the old breech plugs back in the day like H&R uh, used to use. You can see when I put that in there, close it up and open it back up, it does not extract. But H&R uh, used to use a, uh, a breech plug for their muzzle loaders back in the day, and uh, this is kind of the same concept. Uh, but it's very affordable, really cool. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, word of advice, if you're gonna get into black powder reloading or anything like this at all, please do your research. Um, this would be my first time reloading or muzzle loading or any, even anything has to do with reloading a shotgun uh, as far as reloading the rounds. But uh, let's go ahead and get started and see how fun this thing is to use. All right, before we get started, we to quickly go over what you're gonna need to basically do some muzzle loading. Uh, you can see this white piece of paper here. This is actually wax paper. This will be, this will be working as my over powder and over shot uh, wadding. You can see that silver there sitting there. That little item here is a, a breech plug cleaner or flash plug cleaner and uh, that will clean out after each shot your where your primer goes to uh, have a nice clean flash in there. This is the brass piece that you see sitting here is the 85 grain volume powder measure and we will also be using that to measure our shot of equal value. We have here some Winchester primers. These are 209 shotgun primers and any 209 shotgun primers will work. We're gonna be testing some various things like BBs that we got there for shot. Uh, inside of that little catch 22 container here, I'll show you how that works in just a second, but that contains shot as well. The black powder we will be using is Pyrodex. This is the FFG equivalent or black powder equivalent. You do not want to use triple FG or anything like that. If you're looking to do this or get started, go with something simple like this Pyrodex here, FFG equivalent, Pyrodex RS. And I got some bearings back there and slingshot rounds that we're gonna load up into there and just kind of see and uh, pattern this shotgun, which I have not done here just yet. Uh, have not patterned the shotgun, so we're gonna learn a couple things here today. And of course you'll need your 209 muzzle loading adapter and some kind of ram rod, which again, you can pick this one up on gunadapters.com. All right, you can see there how I installed that. I got the, uh, that little cutout area right on the extractor. So once you have this installed, we'll go ahead and measure our powder for the load. All right, we got our 209 muzzle loading adapter stuffed into there. And we'll go ahead and close that up. We can go ahead and get started. We'll set this down right here. And uh, to expedite things, if you had a powder measure, or a powder dispenser, I should say, uh, laid out, you could uh, make this just a little bit faster. All right, so we have that nice and level in there. If you can make that out. You can go ahead and dump this into right down the barrel, as you would a muzzle loader. Now you'll notice I did not install a primer into this adapter just yet. You don't want to do that until last. And uh, that's going to make the gun ready. All right, the next thing we're going to need is a uh, over powder wad. 
We'll turn to the uh, wax paper that we have here, rip off a piece like so. And what you'll do is just stuff that down into the barrel. We'll stuff that right down the barrel. We're gonna compact that nice and tight. No need to get a hammer out and compact it. Just pack it down there. Okay, now that we have our powder in there, uh, this is a clever little idea that I just had. Uh, each one of these little cylinders inside of here is just about the perfect measure of shot to equal the volume of powder that I just put into here. So we're gonna go ahead and dump that right down. Okay, now this is safe. There is no primer in here. So uh, there's gonna be a lot of safety Nazis out there kind of wondering about this video, but uh, just know we're taking every precaution. We'll go ahead and rip off another piece of wax paper. And this is for your overshot wadding. Stuff it down the barrel again using your ramrod to uh, pack it down in there, like so. All right, next thing we need is a primer. Just drops right in there. Now when I close this shotgun up, it's ready to roll and it's hot. We'll go ahead and turn the camera around and I have an HD target out there that we're gonna go ahead and pattern this shotgun for the first time using a black powder muzzle loading adapter and again, this is my very first time ever using a muzzle loader or reloading a shotgun round or anything like that. So we'll see how this goes. All right, I failed to mention that the shot that I used in here is a mixture between eight and a seven and an eight shot. So we'll go ahead and pattern it onto that HD target out there and see where it goes. This is, I, feel, I believe these Hatfields are a modified choke or sit about 10 yards back. was pretty cool. I don't know if you noticed or not, the, uh, there's not much of a kick to this thing. Not at all, uh, shooting black powder out of this or that type of load. So uh, let's just go ahead and reload again. We'll take a look at that target over there real quick. All right, so it looks like this uh, shotgun is shooting just a little low. And so we'll adjust for that when we start shooting cans and stuff like that. Here's my hand for reference. And that would have been a dead rabbit, turkey, whatever. Right there, you can see there's plenty of holes nice and tightly all over this thing. And this is small game, about a fist size. You can see that would have been a shot on every part of that had I adjusted and aimed a little bit higher. All right, we'll go ahead and open this up here. You can see after we shoot the round, your primer is just sitting right there, ready to be picked out. And just comes out with a set of fingernails and you're ready to shoot again. All right, we'll go ahead and try this again. I got my 85 grain volume powder measure. We're just go ahead and dump it out, fill it right to the top. I want to pattern this one more time just to see if I kind of got excited and uh, lowered that barrel before I shot. All right, we got that filled to the top. We'll go ahead and dump it right down the barrel. Get our over powder wadding, ramrod. We'll dump that right down the barrel. Totally missed about half of those into the barrel. Overshot wadding. Get our 209 shotgun primer. And this shotgun is hot and ready. All right, let's go ahead and take another shot again here. 10 yards on the HD target. I'm gonna take my time, make sure that I didn't flinch that last one out. That is so cool. Oh man, that's awesome. All right, that's what I expected. I thought I might have flinched that one just a little bit low, but it does look like that shotgun is shooting just a little bit low. You can see a lot more of my pattern went up top here and uh, a lot more that went down to the bottom. So we'll go ahead and hold high when we shoot this thing. And uh, let's go ahead and take out some soda cans and try some of those other different rounds. I got some BBs, some bearings, and uh, some other stuff that we're gonna go ahead and try to shoot at, some pumpkins and cans and stuff like that. Try to get some slow-mo in there too. And again, you can see here when you crack open your shotgun, your 209 shotgun primer is ready to be pulled out and drop another one in. I got the high speed going as well. I don't know if it's gonna turn out or not. Got my little primer here ready to roll. Drop it right in. 
Take a shot at that pumpkin. Not sure where it's going to hit, as I haven't patterned these either. Let's find out. Tell you what, that is a very soft shooting shotgun. That is one dead pumpkin. All right, I went ahead and loaded this up to, uh, off camera to skip the bore. But uh, again, sticking to the uh, equal powder to equal shot volume with the uh, slingshot bearings that I have in here now. Got the high speed rolling again. Go ahead and take another shot at that pumpkin. <laughs> oh man, this thing is so awesome. Let's go take a look. I'm not sure if you can tell, this is the same pumpkin with the uh, previous BB shot in there. You can see there's a little bit more damage onto it. I'm going to load up some, I uh, believe to be number four shot, and uh, let's shoot some like silly string and sodas and stuff. <clears throat> Alright, I got the high speed going again. Number four shot against a shaving cream bottle. <laughs> oh man. I love this thing. You can see that that was the uh, number four shot. We got quite a few hits on there. I believe it was facing like this. So again, it looks like I'm still hitting uh, low left on this thing with that shotgun. All right, I got number four shot in here again. Ready to roll, got the high speed going. I'll tell you what, I'm starting to feel like Tal Flatermouse out here. <laughs> All right, versus the silly string. Goop. <laughs> All right, here we go. BBs versus soda can. killing me man it's so much fun I don't know maybe I'm just excited about it it's because it's a shotgun and I'm muzzle loading it with black powder and stuffing whatever I want down there to an extent all right guys that's all I got for you for right now that again was the 209 muzzle loader adapter for the 12 gauge shotgun made by gunadapters.com I want to thank them for being our sponsor and sending out that adapter to show you guys and hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, we also want to thank you for watching our videos, sharing and commenting, and we encourage you to check out companies that help our small little channel. We'll have a link in the description box below and a coupon code for, I believe it's 10% off your entire purchase on uh, gunadapters.com. I uh, encourage you to check them out and uh, support companies that keep our little channel going to uh, help us to keep making videos. Uh, we also want to thank HD Targets for providing the targets for this video. And uh, we also have a coupon code down there as well and a link to their site. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the slow-mo. We're going to try to incorporate some more of that into our videos to keep things kind of interesting for you. Up next, we have a project with my little H&R that I have installed a red dot on there. Kind of crude, but uh, I can clean that up. But uh, You might want to check back again later on got the 12 gauge to 22 LR adapter. I'm going to show you just how accurate that thing can actually be. That's all I got for you guys. Appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next video.